Tommy, I think you and I would agree that if a homeowner were going to buy just one power tool, we'd recommend this, the drill driver. Absolutely. It's a, it's a homeowner friendly tool. It's very versatile. And I think we'd also agree that most homeowners probably aren't getting as much out of this tool as they could because nowadays there are a ton of features on these oh, drills. I agree. I agree. Let's start right here up front with the chuck. And the chuck is what holds the drill bit or the screw tip into place so you can do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Now this drill driver actually has a a keyless chuck so when I want to put the drill bit in I can put it in reverse open it up drop the chuck into place put it in forward slowly turn it till the drill bit gets tight and then lock it down and you call this keyless because back in the day you actually had a key to chuck where you literally had two pieces here and look where did this relic come well, from? Well back in the day you can still buy drills <laughs> like this Sonny. Alright so you open up the chuck with your hand like that and then you drop your drill in Tighten it down. Now you can't really lock it down because it spins on you. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you take the key, you put it in the hole, position it, and then you crank it down. You got to crank it down really hard so the drill bit doesn't slip in the chuck. No surprise that it's hard to find that system anymore because the, uh, the keyless is a lot easier. All right. 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 Okay, so the next feature on this is right here. There's actually multiple features. So right here on the top of the drill, there's a setting that, that shows a picture of a drill bit. Mm -hmm. And this is the setting that you want to be on when you're drilling holes. Okay. All right? Now, the other setting right here is for driving screws. And this actually has a setting that works in conjunction with these numbers right here. All right, and that's a clutch. But if you turn one more setting on this drill, you actually have a hammer. This drill actually allows you to drill into masonry. And when you drill with this, it actually hammers the drill in at the same time that it is spinning. And so depending on which setting you have, this drill is going to operate differently. So if you're in the drill setting, for right. example, you're going to be able to spin a drill bit very fast to drill into, say, wood. Right. So I want to have it on high speed. I put my drill in the chuck. I lock it down. Now when I drill, the drill will spin very fast. Yep. All right, so now if I take that out and I put a driver tip in, lock it down, and I change my setting to screw. Mm -hmm. All right, now this setting right here is a torque setting. So let's set it on 16, which is the high torque setting. Put my tip into the screw and now watch what happens when I drive the screw into the wood. Right, so that right. gives you a lot of muscle, but right there at the end you hear that slip. That was a clutch. Right. And that clutch actually stops the screw from stripping out or the tip from being ruined. And you know what, that is key because if you're trying to drive a small wood screw like this, let's say you're hanging a hinge, it is so easy to strip that head right there. Sure is. So what I want to do is I want to lower this clutch all the way down to number one mm -hmm. and I drive that screw in and see if my setting is correct. And all there right. it is. I didn't overdrive the screw, but it's still not down quite where I want it to be. So now if I just change my clutch setting, let's go up a couple of numbers. Now I'm on seven and let's see where it drives it. It'll clutch out. Perfect. So I've driven the screw just a little bit below the surface, but I haven't overdriven it. I like the clutch. Yeah. All right, now right here, this is a, f a high and a low setting, one and two. So if I'm drilling a hole and I want to really drill that hole at a high speed, I set it on two. But if I need power, like if I'm driving a big screw or, dr or drilling a big hole, I drop it down to one, which would give me more power but slower speed. Right. And the trigger right here is actually a variable speed. So I can also control that speed by pulling the switch in and out because it's a variable speed switch. Mm -hmm. Good. Right here is my forward and reverse. Right. So today when you buy these, typically they'll come in a kit and the second tool might be an impact driver, which is a great tool. You guys use it all the time. But it will not do everything that the drill driver does. This is definitely more versatile. This will definitely drive screws all day long. This is very noisy, <laughs> but it is powerful. It's a specialty tool, and I guess if you're only going to get just one of these, just one, this is what you want right here. And now people know how to use it. Good info, Tommy. Thanks. Thanks.